Imagine a spacecraft that can launch into orbit, dock with a space station, and then glide back to Earth for a smooth runway landing, all without a crew on board. China has just unveiled the Haolong Space Cargo Shuttle, a revolutionary reusable spacecraft poised to transform space travel. This winged shuttle aims to drastically cut the cost of transporting cargo to the Tiangong Space Station by reusing the vehicle multiple times. Developed by the Aviation Industry Corporation of China AVIC, the Haolong is not just a technological marvel but a strategic game-changer in the global space race. Let's dive into what makes this shuttle so groundbreaking and why it's capturing worldwide attention. The Haolong Space Cargo Shuttle represents a bold leap in spacecraft design for China, combining cutting-edge technology with innovative engineering to create a reusable vehicle unlike anything previously seen in the nation's space program. Unveiled by the China Manned Space Agency CMSA during the announcement of the Shenzhou-19 mission, the Haolong Shuttle is developed by the Chengdu Aircraft Design and Research Institute, a subsidiary of the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, a VIC. The Haolong's design is particularly noteworthy for its large wingspan and high lift-to-drag ratio, characteristics more commonly associated with aircraft than traditional spacecraft. This winged configuration allows the Haolong to perform atmospheric re-entry and glide back to Earth, landing horizontally on a conventional runway. This method of recovery contrasts sharply with China's current cargo spacecraft, like the Tianzhou vessels, which burn up upon re-entry and are not recoverable. In terms of capabilities, the Haolong is designed to be launched atop a carrier rocket, dock with the Tiangong space station, and then return cargo safely back to Earth. Its reusability is a game-changer, significantly reducing the cost per mission by allowing the spacecraft to be refurbished and relaunched multiple times. The shuttle can carry substantial payloads both to and from the space station, enhancing China's ability to supply its orbital outpost and return scientific experiments or equipment for analysis and reuse. AVIC's involvement in the Haolong project is significant. Traditionally focused on aviation and aerospace technologies, AVIC brings a wealth of experience in designing aircraft, which is evident in the shuttle's aerodynamic features. This cross-industry collaboration indicates a strategic move by China to leverage expertise from various sectors to advance its space capabilities. The Haolong will make its public debut at the 15th Air Show China in Zhuhai, scheduled from November 12th to 17. This event will allow the international community to get a closer look at the shuttle's design and technological advancements. China's development of the Haolong shuttle signifies a strategic pivot towards low-cost, reusable cargo transport and greater collaboration with commercial entities in its space endeavors. Recognizing the need for more efficient and cost-effective supply missions to the Tiangong Space Station, the China Manned Space Engineering Office CMSEO issued a call for proposals to develop innovative cargo transportation systems. From 10 submissions, four proposals advanced to a detailed design phase, and ultimately, two were selected the Haolong Space Shuttle by AVIC and the Qingzhou Cargo Spacecraft by the Innovation Academy for Microsatellites of the Chinese Academy of Sciences IAMCAS. The selection of these projects reflects China's openness to involving non-traditional actors and fostering competition within its space industry. The CMSEO's requirements were stringent. The new cargo systems needed to deliver at least 1,800 kilograms to low Earth orbit and dispose of over 2,000 kilograms of waste upon re-entry, all while keeping the cost under 120 million yuan, approximately $17.2 million per 1,000 kilograms delivered. The Haolong shuttle meets these demands through its reusable design, which amortizes the development and launch costs over multiple missions, leading to significant long-term savings. The Qingzhou spacecraft, set to launch on a CAS Space Legend 2 rocket, marks another milestone as it involves CAS Space, a commercial spin-off from the Chinese Academy of Sciences. This is the first time a commercial space company in China will participate in supplying the National Space Station, indicating a shift towards embracing private enterprise in national space projects. By involving companies like AVIC and CAS Space, China is following a path similar to NASA's Commercial Resupply Services Program, which leveraged private companies such as SpaceX and Orbital Sciences Corp. 
to deliver cargo to the International Space Station. This approach has proven successful in reducing costs and spurring innovation through competition. The Hao Long Shuttle's development has significant implications for the global space community and represents a step forward in the future of reusable spacecraft. By investing in a reusable, winged space shuttle, China is joining a select group of entities pushing the boundaries of space transportation technology. The Hao Long's design evokes comparisons to NASA's space shuttle, which was retired in 2011 after 30 years of service. However, the Hao Long is uncrewed and optimized specifically for cargo missions, addressing some of the cost and safety issues that affected NASA's program. The ability to return cargo safely to Earth expands the possibilities for scientific research, as experiments conducted in microgravity can be analyzed in detail upon return. Internationally, companies like Sierra Space are developing the Dream Chaser, a reusable spacecraft capable of delivering cargo and crew to the International Space Station and returning with a runway landing. SpaceX's Dragon capsule also offers cargo return capabilities, though it lands via parachute splashdown. The how long adds to this competitive landscape, potentially offering a more cost-effective and efficient alternative. China's advancement in reusable spacecraft technology could spur increased competition in the global space industry, leading to further innovations and reduced costs worldwide. It may also open doors for international collaboration, as other countries and organizations might seek partnerships to leverage China's new capabilities. Moreover, the success of the Hao Long could influence how future space missions are planned and executed. Reusable spacecraft reduce the need for manufacturing new vehicles for each mission, decreasing material consumption and production costs. This sustainability aspect aligns with global efforts to make space exploration more environmentally responsible. The Hao Long shuttle also reflects China's broader ambitions in space exploration, including plans for lunar missions and potential human exploration of Mars. Mastery of reusable spacecraft technology is a critical step towards these long-term goals, providing the necessary experience and infrastructure to support more complex missions. The Hao Long represents not just a national achievement but a contribution to the collective progress of human space exploration. Its development signals a commitment to innovation, sustainability, and collaboration that could have far-reaching effects on how humanity accesses and utilizes space. In this video, we've explored China's groundbreaking Hao Long Space Cargo Shuttle, a reusable, winged spacecraft poised to revolutionize cargo transport to the Tiangong Space Station, and how Hao Long's innovative design redefined spacecraft engineering, how China's strategic shift towards low cost. Reusable transport is fostering commercial collaboration, and what these developments mean for the future of reusable spacecraft globally. We hope you knew something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.